Merry Christmas from me and my poof. Um, I'm actually getting ready to braid this down so that I can put it under a wig because I'm taking pictures and I want to have pink hair for the pictures. And um, I've just been cooking and things all morning. So let's show you guys what's for Christmas dinner. The brownies are done. They're looking glorious. I'm going to have them with some ice cream later on, but I use the vegan egg for these because I wanted to test it out for baking, so hopefully it's delicious. This is what the vegan egg looks like if you're not familiar. I actually cannot eat this because I think it smells terrible, but um, I wanted to see if it worked better in baking because I have kind of hit or miss um, results when I use flax eggs and things like that. So I wanted to go ahead and try the vegan egg and it did set up really well, um, better than it ever has for brownies. So I'm hoping that they taste just as lovely as they look. So for the top of my potatoes, I'm going to take one chive cream cheese, one plain cream cheese, dill, and fresh chives, and I'm going to mix this into a bowl so it can kind of start to infuse and get the fresh herb flavor, and we'll top our potatoes with this yummy herbed cream cheese concoction that we're going to be making. I've got some red potatoes and some asparagus. I'm only making enough to eat like for like two meals because I don't want them to be weird. So I'll make some more tomorrow if I still want asparagus. I'm making about half of the potatoes too. The rest of them have been washed and are just chilling out here. I'll probably eat them a little later in the week. These guys are just naked with a little bit of avocado oil on them. These guys also have avocado oil, but some fresh chives, some dried dill, some pepper, and a little bit of sea salt. You'll see the theme soon once I start to make the sauces. I have a couple of whole wheat pie crusts here. Um, these are just store bought because never in my life will I ever make a pie crust, so that's that. So we put our filling, and I use just like a little oval ramekin and then we're just going to put on the top crust not my best crust work all right there we go and i'm going to brush it with some earth's balance and then pop it in the oven so christmas dessert are the brownies I showed you earlier warmed up a little bit and I just took one of the so delicious salted caramel um, ice cream bars took the stick out and just cut it and then you have ice cream in this crunchy shell and some caramel it's gonna be so good so I'm finally getting ready to go to my parents' house. <laughs> I'm gonna um, shoot this outfit for um, Instagram though, for like Christmas Instagram pictures. <sighs> Man, that was a lot of work, <laughs> getting everything ready. But I'm excited to see my family. I'm excited to see Nicole. My mom said she has, she had this little like skin tag on her nose, but now it's grown a lot. So I need to make her a vet appointment, but her vet's only open during the week. They only do surgeries on the weekend. So I need to find a day that I can take off so that I can take her to the doctor. I'm hoping they can just like freeze it or like slice it or something. I don't know, just not have to have <laughs> surgery again. I can't handle any more dog surgeries. Um, and they said they won't put her under at her age anymore. But anyways, let's get way up yonder because we got a far way to go i like to shoot pictures like up at my parents house because there's lots of cute little backgrounds like this and there's lots of just like open space and like train tracks and you can stand in the middle of a street without getting hit it's really nice
I'm forever thankful to my tech snake because I'm like in the middle of taking pictures and my phone died. So we're getting a little charge on it so that I can shoot the rest. I was gonna shoot by that Christmas tree, but I don't want these pictures to be too Christmassy. Hey, little matching girls. Oh, yep, you're going pee pee. Oh, and Bella's gonna pee right on top of it. You gonna pee right on top of it? Yep, mm-hmm. Doing your leg, your little handstand? Good job. Santa's favorite and Santa's little helper. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> um, I made it to my parents. I've changed into my comfy clothes so that we can watch TV, just hang out. I'm outside with the doggies right now. <laughs> Nicole, she just brightens up my life. She's so cute. <laughs> Baby Nicole. <laughs> She's playing on the trampoline because she she loves it. She loves her trampoline. You don't look ugly. The sun is shining in my face. I don't know if I see my nails. I didn't get a chance to paint my nails. You didn't so. get a chance to paint your nails? No. I, I like those baby blue eyes. Oh, thank you. You can have them. Okay. Give me them. Hmm? How old are you? 68. Yeah, you don't look 68. Yeah. You want to show your outfit? Or you, mm, you, never. You don't like it today? No, not today. <laughs> <laughs> so Usually she wants to I'll show, show off. It. <laughs> oh yeah, you look cute. I like those oh, boots. Oh, yeah. Nice. Like that booty? Oh, yeah, look oh, at you. <laughs> did you used to be a model back in the day? Yes, I did. <laughs> you can walk like a model. Let me see your model walk. Okay. Hey. Yeah, yeah somebody needs to pay you. Let me see a turn. Yes. <laughs> Walk it out, baby. Walk it out. We walk it out. You look so cute. <laughs> when are you driving back to Colorado? Um, probably about a week. In a week. Really, the chicken hawk. Go inside, away. Nicole. Belly, tell everybody that I love you too. Yeah, I love you too. Everyone thinks I don't love Bella because I'm always talking about Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Um. Everybody thinks I'm all that I only love Nicole because I never hold Bella, but I do love Bella. I just love Nicole more. And everybody spoils Bella, so I have to give Nicole extra loving because this one's spoiled to death. Yeah, because she's the baby, so everyone spoils her. She is. <laughs> she's rotten. I know, that's why everyone's like, you don't even talk to Bella. Hey, Nicole. Oh, okay. Is she being like a boy? Yes. Where are you going? Hey. You should put a leash on or something. Taking yourself on a walk like usual. Merry Christmas. I said inside. Come on. Right now. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Come in. Go in. Ready? Smile. Mama. Willie fine. You the one messing up the picture. Why do you put his hat on backwards like that? Because she wants it on backwards. <laughs> JJ. Say cheese. You messed up the picture. Quit moving, yeah, Mama. Smile. Uh, <laughs> Just. <laughs> you don't know how to smile? You look Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how to smile. <laughs> All right. Papa put his hat back on, right? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> mom being a selfie queen like always. <laughs> Look at her sitting her big butt on top of my son. <laughs> <laughs> you guys selfieing? Yeah. Aww. Look at mom. Oh, Looking 25. 
Uh, <laughs> yes, I know. She just blocked you right on out. <laughs> you started talking about how good she looks. You ready, Miguel? You ready for your close up? All right. Everybody smile. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> good job, Papa. I like your thumbs up. Oh, Nicole got in. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's Nicole. Cheese. Say cheese, Papa. Oh, look at you guys. I got it. Good job, everyone. Bella, can you tell your mommy to wake up, please? Kayla. Kayla. Your only sister's here. Kayla. Your only sister's here. <laughs> Kayla, your only sister's here. Hold my finger. Hold my finger. Come on. <laughs> yeah, get her, Bella. Big baby. Yeah. I just left the little babies for a big baby. Yeah, hers gotta lay on her auntie. Yeah. You're so sweet. You're sweet like an angel. Yeah. Like a baby angel. As you can see from puppy time, I'm back home. I'm actually getting ready to go have some more pot pie. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit <laughs> about my grandma. She's adorable, but I've told you guys before, if you're really sensitive, <laughs> you can't watch my family because they are not PC at all. Um, they will never be. I'm sure you heard my mom, my grandma call my mom big a couple of times. And she told me that I look like a really pretty actress, a big fat one. <laughs> um, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. Um, my grandma's from a very different time. You know, she's 68 years old. And I'm not... I think she may have graduated from high school. I'm not 100% sure, honestly, if she did. I guess she has to have... Maybe she got her GD. No, well, she had my grandma when she... She had my mom when she was 16. Well, she got pregnant with her when she, when she was 16. She had her when she was 17. Um... And I know she missed a lot of elementary school and a lot of middle school because she and her six, seven siblings would have to stay home and pick cotton on my great grandmother's farm because that's how my great grandmother made a living was selling cotton. So um, all of her, it wasn't my great grandmother, my great, great grandmother. <laughs> um, so the kids helped and she said she always talks about how she'd see the school bus go by and um all the kids be on it and they'd have to stay and help on the farm help on the farm and she just comes from a different time um it's kind of one of those you can't teach old dogs new tricks kind of situations um i remember just a few months ago i was wearing a dress and she goes "Ooh, i'm gonna tell your mom your knees are dirty and when i was little she used to have me scrub my knees in the um, bathtub and she goes "Ooh, your knees are so dirty you need to get them clean because she just didn't know what hyperpigmentation was um and she still doesn't and i was telling her i was like no grandma that's that's not dirt on my knees they're just discolored they're darker my elbows are darker my underarms are darker in between my thighs are darker i just have darker parts of my body and it's just um less awareness things like that weren't really talked about as much i guess when she was growing up so <sighs> Jackie is Jackie. She's a piece of work for sure. Um, she's funny. She's a riot. She makes the whole family laugh. She always has a Miller Lite in her hand. I think she's completely subbed it out for water at this point. Um, but I, I love her. She's my grandmother. So anyways. Oh, <sighs> graceful. Um, so I was going to end the vlog yesterday. I have on the same thing I wore yesterday because I'm fancy. I'm fancy. I'm fancy. Yeah. And I think people wash their clothes too much anyways. Um, I usually wear things like twice, sometimes thrice before I wash them. That's why I have dresses from like places that are kind of cheap. 
Okay. Wow, woman. I just ran through the house because um, I was going to go to the store. Then I was like, I might as well add this to yesterday's vlog. Um, because it would be selfish to go shopping by myself and not bring you guys. So I ran in the house. Um, then ran back because I thought I heard the trash guy out here, but he was not out here And we did not take our trash out today and it's raining So I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> It'll just have to wait until next week Ours is never full anyway, so it could really go out every two weeks. Anyways, why am I blabbing on? I'm getting ready to go to Kohl's because I want this mascara Because ooh, I'm still in search of the perfect vegan mascara and it hasn't helped yet and I have to go to Target because for what I ate in a days, I want to start doing a few more themed what I ate in a days, like how I did workday meals. I want to do some stuff so that I can incorporate more like taste tests and product reviews. Because yeah, I review like one thing or so per video, but I want to, I want to be able to put more like bulk reviews and more like recent stuff that's coming out into them. So I'm going to go to Target because this one is like... You, you guys are watching this the day that I'm filming the actual what I ate in a day. Um, I haven't started it yet, obviously. <laughs> um, and I might get a Starbucky. Look at my booty chin. But yeah, let's just go. I've been wanting this skirt, but they don't have it in a 2X. I should have bought it when I saw it, and that's my punishment, basically, because it's so cute. This is what I came for the balm. I'm looking for one of their mascaras. I don't know where the mascara is though. Is that mascara? Maybe. I don't think so. So I have the, mm, I can't remember which smell I have, but they do have other ones of the crystal. And some of you guys were skeptical that they were actually vegan. So it does say it on the back. Right there and not tested on animals, so. Of course, because I want this specific mascara, they don't have it. That's how things work in my life, always. So you guys know how I am. I can't take no for an answer. So I'm gonna go to another Kohl's and then hopefully they have it. It's the Balm Body Builder and only Kohl's sells the Balm now, at least that I know is cold is the only place oh my gosh it's cold and it's misty i hate it so i'm leaving target because they don't have what i need either for my what i ate in a day video and i'd seen it here like a couple of times but i guess i'll have to go to one more target which means i'm not going to another kohl's but before i leave i'm gonna go looking at the kombuchas to Starbucks because that's the Starbucks instead of Target. And I got a grande soy latte with an extra shot. Mm. Guys, look at God working. So I stopped here randomly because I need to go to Sally's to get another one of my big poofy ponytails. And I'm just sitting here texting the boy and then I look over and what do I see? One of my favorite restaurants is moving pretty close to my house. And then I see they're opening a Nancy Sky Garden like a few miles from my house. I'm going to be able to order takeout, spicy mango, and sweet potato noodles like right from my house. The owners stopped out and talked to me for a little bit. They're so cute. I was like, I don't have to go to Round Rock or Georgetown anymore. And they're like, no, it's going to be right here. It looks like they still have a while to go. But I'm, I'm excited nonetheless. <laughs> I'm still sitting in my car, but I'm so happy because I called every single cold and everyone said no. Hyperpigmentation P, by the by the way, you know. Um, but the one in Georgetown has it, which is super far from my house, but there's also a Target up there, so hopefully I can find what I was looking for at Target there too. So blessings all around, guys. Blessings all around. Mascaras and blessings for everyone. You get a mascara, you get a blessing, you get a mascara, you get a blessing. I got them, I bought two. <laughs> I don't know if I'll like it, but I just like to buy backups and I'll just give it to someone if I don't like it. But that girl was literally the sweetest girl I've ever met in my entire life. Does that give anyone else anxiety? I just stepped on this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. I like stopped, <laughs> but. I'm gonna head over to the Target over here. Ooh, there's a Sephora over there. 
You see that, Sephora? We're not gonna do it, though. Stay away from the Sephora. So, I'm gonna run over to Target really quick and see if they have what I need for my video, because it's like 11, and I should be eating already. So it's raining too hard outside for me to show you like me going in and out of like the third target of the day But I got some coffee two frozen meals that you'll see what in what I ate in a day Then this brand is like my favorite brand of pickles They didn't have the whole pickle because I really love the whole pickle, but they also have like green beans um, Snap peas and carrots pickled so I got that too. This is my ride or die eyebrow pencil I know that I kind of come off like a bougie biatch sometimes but this elf brow pencil me and my sister both use it and i used to have a bunch of the elf blush palettes and i thought that the powders were really high quality so i got the bronzer palette because i'm hitting pan on my anastasia one like a lot so i'm hoping that this might replace it at like a quarter of the price it looks darker in real life than it's looking on camera but we'll swatch in things when we get home I'm dumb. I didn't even show you the mascara. This is what it looks like. So, that's what I got. I lied to you guys, and I may have went to Sephora when I was up there. I got this mask. It's called, I guess it's called the Blue Tansy Mask by Herbivore. And it's a resurfacing mask. And Mama has some texture, so um, she needs it. So, necessity. Since I'm here, I thought I'd do kind of like an honest what's in my bag video. Um, so that you guys can kind of see what I keep in here now keep in mind This is a non work it work day if it were a work day I'd have like either my iPad or my laptop in there and it has a lot of space It can definitely fit a ton of stuff. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry. Um I was running around <laughs> I um, am meeting Stacy for lunch in a second so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing my appointment um, so this is the Ann shopper bag from Angela Roy um, I have a link to it down below or to the website down below but I really like this bag it does have little feet on the bottom I did an unboxing of this a while back and it has kind of like I don't know a casual aspect with this and then a little clasp so Let's see what's in this bad boy. I kind of keep a lot of stuff. We should do it back here so you can see it. Oh, you can see my rolls too. So I have my swell water bottle in there because you gotta hydrate, you know? So I pretty much always have my water bottle in there. And I have a pair of high keys. No, these aren't high keys. These are uh, the French Kiss because even though I found my old ones, I ruined them. I don't know how I scratched the lenses and I was so bummed about it. Then I have this little mesh pouch. Um, it just has some stuff. It has this little um, hand sanitizer my mom got me. My Fenty gloss bomb. This looks like perfume and people try to spray it on themselves sometimes. But it's actually um, a breath freshener. And then I have my Energize essential oil. I don't know if it really does anything, but I like the way it smells. It's frankincense and orange. So I have that in there. Then I have this NYX lip gloss in chocolate crepe, which is one of my favorite colors. And then just this Tardist, um, I think this is called birthday suit. It was like part of my birthday gift from Sephora. So I have this in like this little cosmetic bag. And then I usually take whatever lip color I'm wearing for the day and pop it in here as well so that I have like everything together because this this bag it's really big so things get lost if you don't have them in like little pouches so I have that in there um ooh, <laughs> I always have this in there it's my bamboo silverware it has a little carabiner on it too but it has um chopsticks a fork a knife and a spoon like i said i take this bag to work a lot so i ended up i end up using these pretty much every day for lunch and also if i'm on the run and i grab something at starbucks i don't have to get like a throwaway thingy because i have this 
sorry I had to clear a little bit of memory card space so this thingies so I have my tech sneak um, it's just like a little charger they sent me this a long time ago like but any kind of like battery thing I can say that this one's been really great for me the only thing is it takes a long time to charge I've had it for I don't know like six months or so and I use it pretty much every day and I use it with this tassel a lot of people think this tassel is a part of my purse but it's not it's um one of those little chargers you can find these on Amazon I got mine at a little boutique this thing broke but it's the thing that changes it from like Android charger to an Apple charger but it's just a little charger and I end up using this so so much so it's a lifesaver for me love it I have my wallet in here obviously um, with all of my cards which I just recently started using a wallet again this is from a store called altered state it's a Christian store and so I just have like all my cards in there um, a little bit of money and um, you know that good stuff so wallet and if I'm going in the store like there's nothing in my purse really a value so I just grab this have my little wristlet and I walk into the store like this and I have this so what else Okay, so at the bottom of my purse, I have a reusable straw because I like to put it into my water bottle when I'm at work. And I have my vitamins, which are called Ritual. They're essential vitamins. I do have like, um, I'll try to find the link for you guys where you get 50% off your first bottle. They're like specifically for women. And um, they have like, the vitamins that we're missing the most in them I like them you open them they're not paying me for this obviously I bought them myself it's a monthly subscription they send you your vitamins every month it's $30 yeah $30 it smells like mints they have like mint in it so when you burp you get like that freshness instead of that vitamin-y feeling and I've been trying to take them every day I have an alarm that goes off that tells me to take that in my birth control so my birth controls in there um a little vitamin c packet so not all of these are vegan the ester c brand is the emergency i believe is not so um these say vegan on the package so i have one of those because i was sick so it's still kind of in there for when i was sick i probably don't need it i have this little thing that my assistant bought me um, when she was in Mexico, she's from Mexico, so um, she bought me when she was there, and it actually just has one lonesome, well, two pennies, and one lonesome little tampon in there. I actually don't use tampons. I use, like, an alternate form of vagina catchers, but I have one just for emergencies. Um... <laughs> I have a fidget spinner, um, which obviously I'm not good at because I'm old. <laughs> so I have a white fidget spinner in my purse, and it has a little key holder. So my keys are on there. I have my gym thing, and then I have like this little keychain that I got in a Love Goodly box that says, Enjoy the little things. And what else is in here? This is zipped. I don't know why. There's nothing in there. That's all. That's all that's in my bag right now. So, I don't know. What do you keep in your bag? Are there any essentials that are in your bag that I should have in my bag that's not going to make it heavier? Let me know down below. But, I'm going to repack my purse now. But I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this vlog. And I love you for doing so. If you're new, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the family. I'm on my way to 50k guys I've been stuck between like 45 and 46 for a really long time so if you like my videos make sure that you comment and like so that the algorithm favors them and share them if you really love them so until next time remember to keep an open mind keep an open heart practice unconditional compassion but don't take shit from anyone oh I have on that new mascara see I love you guys endlessly <laughs> and I hope you love yourselves even more I'll talk to you really really soon